what can I say about a guy who taught me everything that I know about music, um, even about life? Can't tell you what Kenny actually meant to me because he meant so many different things. But I do know this, that he believed in God and not only believed in him, but he had a passion um, for God. And I just uh, will never forget the times we were singing different places and to me it sounded like Sam Cooke. And I just thank God that I had an opportunity to share singing with him. And because of him, I'm singing. My grandson Carter is singing. My grandson Jaden is singing. And my grandson Noah is singing. So you're going to be missed, but it won't be for long. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. And I look forward to singing in the heavenly choir with you. Or the heavenly quartet with you. Love you. Kenny Scott, the fellas... Um, this is a tribute to Kenny Scott, we, we all, aka also known as Scotty. Scotty was a dear friend, was always good to talk to, always had a new song, always had that that something about him. Right One of my favorites is Something Within Me. And I remember we were singing at, at a concert. And Scotty was introducing something within me. He said, there's something with, <sighs> something within me, something I ate. And he went to, <clears throat> he started coughing and he <clears throat> coughed. And in his hand, he had little pieces of paper, toilet paper torn up. And he I said, it must have been that chicken I ate. <laughs> always had something funny to say. Always had a good spirit. Always was lighthearted. And Scotty, you're going to be missed. Going to be missed. We look, we really enjoy singing together and singing. Um, we went to Jamaica and even flew us up to New York to sing for the mayor once. And Scotty, 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 you, you really did it up, man. With, with all that you do, with all that you did, you always, always had the love of God in your heart. Always. And you were always willing to uplift everybody you came in contact with so as eddie said look forward to singing in that heavenly quartet with you miss you much miss you much buddy Bye -bye. the sounds of praise quartet we began singing in the early to mid 80s and at that time i was listening to another group called the brother black quartet and i really thought that they were flawless and because I wanted us to be flawless, you know, to have the timing and the chord structure and all these things, I was concerned with all these things. And we had a lot of skull bashing sessions in rehearsal because of it. However, as we began to sing together, I realized that Scotty wasn't having any of it. Why? Because the gift that he had caused him to sing with so much feeling. And we'd be there singing and his brother say, my house is full. And when he was beginning to do that, he reached into his pocket, grabbed that tissue, stopped wiping his eyes because this man is crying. I'm saying, old oh, man, please don't do this right now. We trying to hold it together. <laughs> but he re I realized by singing with him so many years that I appreciate what he shared with us was that it's so much better to sing with purpose than to try to be flawless. And that is a principle that we can all learn to live by, which I'm living by today. It's so important to live on purpose and to utilize the gift, the undeniable gift the Father gave this man. And I'm forever grateful to my big brother. Thank you, Scott. In the presence of gospel music. It's all about what you've gone through and understanding from whence all your blessings come. Lee Michaels, Cal Hackett, and Naomi Durant. Lord, I cried and I cried. Just couldn't be said.